the way that we first found out about the allegations from DCF was from a phone call. And that phone call just kind of like had me, I was like floored. I was scared. I was taken back. I didn't even know how to react or how to, how to even digest that call. I, I, even sometimes to this day, I feel like that call is still kind of like a blur. As a parent that's been around their children all their lives and I don't know how to live without them. Yeah, I, I just wouldn't know how to live without them. I love my kids. They are my center. And for them to be taken away from me, I don't even know how I would be able to deal with that. Never, never less them being taken away from their mother and the loving home that they've been in. My children, again, have always been with me. We have a very loving home. We do everything together. They do sports. I mean, we are around my children 24-7. We are invested in each other's lives, not just mom and dad and, you know, living in a household. We're friends. So for my kids to be taken away from me and not being able to see me, I, I think that would, you know, that would be really, like, detrimental to them, like, for them not to see their mom, their best friend, the, the person who's supposed to take care of them, not being around them. How, how would they feel safe going forward? How would they feel, you know, that mom protected them or can mom protect me going forward? It's a lot of things that I don't want my kids to go through. I know that I needed a plan. So my next step was I reached out to attorney Seaver's office. His office was very responsive. They actually answered on the very first time. Um, they listened to us, got all the information and told us that, you know, they would give us a call back. Literally, we got a call back within like 15, 20 minutes. Um, and we were talking with attorney Seaver himself. So attorney Seaver was asking us, you know, what was going on. And he asked us what we wanted as an outcome. Attorney Seaver pretty much let us know what he was able to do for us. And after speaking with him and knowing and being reassured that he was the person I needed to go with, our next step was actually to start the process and come up with that plan to make sure that my children weren't going to be taken away. Attorney Seaver definitely over-delivered and reached our goals. He definitely was able to keep my family together. After, you know, coming up with a plan and speaking with Attorney Seaver and him really kind of seeing what we were going through he was empathetic and he understood that we were we were like like I said we were shaking in our boots so he even took it one step further he gave us his private cell phone number he told us to give him a call if anything you know was to come up <laughs> I think he you know probably regretted that because we called him a lot of times including on Christmas day we needed his help but he picked up the phone call um and and just having that ability to speak to someone when you really need them and not just leaving a voicemail and hoping that they call you back was just so much more, it was just so much more sensing and calming during this whole process. If I had to write Attorney Seaver, I'd say on a scale of one to 10, I guess the 10 is the highest I can go, but I don't really think that he even, he, I think he's just off the scale. I don't think there's a number to give him. He's a must have. The first thing that comes into my head when I think of attorney, uh, attorney Seaver is he's a must have. You can't go wrong.